welcome to the MJ Physio channel. My name is Dimud, a personal trainer and a rehab trainer. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, an athlete who had a shoulder dislocation. So before we get into him, um, I'll ex give a, a, a brief introduction about what is shoulder uh, dislocation. So I have a model here, which is a, a, a half, a one a half of a shoulder. So you, you can see the shoulder is composed of three bones, which is your clavicle, and your scapula, and your humerus. And there are like four rotator cuff muscles around the joint that actually they help the joint to move in all directions and also all the ligaments that hold the, the hold the humerus into the socket. So you are commonly known as rotator cuff muscles. So if one of these muscles get really weak or short, it's there are high chances of shoulders getting irritated, dislocation, when also we call the adhesive capsulitis, which is another frozen shoulder issues. So we have to make sure uh, when it comes to the shoulder, all these muscles are working at the same pace. As we all are aware, shoulder is most the most movable joint in the body. So it could be disrupted or dislocated at any time, especially if you are an athlete, if you play contact sports, or if you just bump into any kind of accidents, there's a big chance of your shoulder is getting popped out. Um, so usually, uh, this could be happen in two different ways um, posteriorly which is backwards or anteriorly which is front or the forward way so in common ways a lot of athletes experiencing um, a shoulder dislocation in the anteriorly which is this ball out of the socket is coming out in forward so um, right now I, this is already fixed in the model so I cannot actually explain to you how it's happened but usually what happens this ball is coming out of the socket anteriorly, like in forward ways. I hope everyone had a, um, a general idea how the shoulder joint works, because uh, as I explained before, you know, three joints and the rotator cuff muscles actually help the joint to move freely and in all directions, and also there's connective tissues holding the joint into the socket. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy the video. Please continue to watch videos in the future and please don't forget to subscribe to MJ Physio channel. Thank you.